Okay, let's say that this battery has 500 amps, 500 amp hours in it. That means that it, if you have a, a light bulb that uses 10 amps per hour, this battery is going to last for 50 hours with that, that uh, light bulb running. Now, most light bulbs don't take that much. I'm just using those numbers as examples so that you can understand that a 500 amp battery will burn one amp hour for 500 hours. That's how they measure the storage. One of the things that is extremely critical in batteries is the cycle. And a complete cycle for a battery is to be 100% charged, taken down to 50%, and then recharged. If you could measure that and do that every single time, your batteries would last and last and last. That's one of the most critical things about what destroys a battery is that cycle. Smaller RVs like the, the travel trailers and the smaller fifth wheels and stuff, they have generally about a 10 amp battery charger. So that means you're putting back 10 amps per hour that you charge it. So let's say that your battery is 500 amps and it's down to, there's only 200 amps left in it. So you're down 300 amps. Your battery, is, your battery charger is putting back 10 amps per hour. You're gonna need 30 hours to get that one battery back to 100%. Some of these coaches have four batteries. Each one of those, have the, if they're wired correctly, will drop at the same rate and charge at the same rate. So if you have four batteries, now four, when I say four batteries, I'm talking four 12 volts, and you have a total of 2,000 amp hours, and you're down to 500 amp hours, and you need to bring 1,500 amp hours back up, and you've only got a 10 amp battery charger, that's 150 hours before that thing gets all the way back full. So what happens with 90% of RV users is they let their batteries go down to 20%, they charge them back up to about 60 or 70%, and then when it gets down below 50%, that's when it's basically the discharge. That's when all of a sudden your lights are dim, your refrigerator doesn't want to work. Even though you still have about 50% of your amp, amp hours left, because of the way a battery actually works, that's when you run into the fact that you, yeah, I, I had my coach plugged in all night, I went out and I had to turn my furnace on and my battery was dead in the morning. It's when they go into storage and you let them sit for a couple of months and then you bring them out and you use it for one weekend and you put it back in storage. And without getting those batteries all the way back up to full percent, that's when it really gets bad on them. You can't be safe enough when you're working around these things. If you have to check your water, wear gloves, wear glasses. I mean, I, I know it's, that's, basically 101 safety, but if you've ever gotten acid on your, or, or, or if you, and if you don't maintain a battery, they actually can't explode on you if you get a spark around them because they do create hydrogen gas. So always be really, really safe whenever you're checking your batteries. Is it showing voltage? This battery only has about four volts in it. It's ter and what's it showing? Is it showing a volt? Okay, just, I'm just touching the top of this battery. And because it is so filthy, it's actually discharging. Are we getting anything? It's all zeros. Clean battery. Well, you can go to the automotive store and spend big money on battery cleaner. It works really well, I recommend it. And then you get the battery protected and you can spray down your post and I recommend that stuff too. Or you can take a cup of baking soda, mix it in a gallon of warm water. Works every bit as good, if not better. Another thing that you never want to do too is replace one battery. You have a bank of four, you have one battery that's bad, the other three are good, you have to replace them all. Mineral free or distilled water is what you want to use when you're filling these. Then, oh, and another thing about adding water, you never want to add your water when your battery's discharged because the electrolyte has turned to water. So if you're adding water to a, a, a mixture that's already got extra water in it, then you dilute the electrolyte. A solar panel can help you so much on the maintenance of your batteries, just in its, by itself, because you guys, I'm sure, store your RVs quite a bit. And when they're in storage, you're always having to run down and, and check them and run them and work your generators and all that stuff. Well. You're still gonna to have to do that, but when you have a solar panel, 
it, it is, helps the life of your batteries tremendously. You know, these incandescent bulbs burn two, three amps and create heat. You go spend a little bit of money on an LED lamp, you get twice the brightness out of it, and it will use a third to less of the electricity. Well, I thank you very, very much for coming. And I hope I wasn't too boring. I hope you learned something. And I do want you to come in and let me check your battery.